Hello everyone and welcome to another anatomy video. This is Dr. Ian from the Veterinary Anatomy channel. In this video, we will dissect the autonomic nerve system inside the thorax cavity. We mean the vagus nerve and the sympathetic trunk and other associated structures. So let's get started. So now I would like to talk about uh, the vagus nerve and its branches and before we move to the vagus nerve let me just remind you that once you remove the lung at the base of the uh, at the base of the heart uh, we can see two nerves the first uh, ventral located one is the phrenic nerve the phrenic nerve uh, originates from the cervical spinal nerves there and moves inside the thorax cavity and innervate uh, the diaphragm let me just move it and put it caudally here uh, now let's let's go to the neck area here let me remind you that in the neck area deeper between the muscles we can see this big artery which is the common carotid artery next to the artery just next to the artery and actually adheres to the artery we have this nerve called the vagothympathetic trunk vagothympathetic trunk or vagothympathetic trunk this one here the name of it is just because the vagus nerve plus the sympathetic trunks, uh, trunk um, moving together here or are fused together here. Uh, if you follow this nerve here at the beginning of the thoracic cranial thoracic inlet, you will find that this trunk, the vagus sympathetic trunk, uh, will be divided and gives two nerves. The first one is here, the vagus nerve. The second one is the sympathetic trunk let's uh, move with the um, and follow the the vagus nerve the vagus nerve moves uh, to to the base of the heart it gives at this level a lot of branches uh, um, to the to the heart to the lungs or whatever here it gives also uh, another big branch which uh, makes a, a loop surrounding the the uh, aortic arch here and moves again cranially so let me just hold the vagus nerve here like this so again this is the vagus nerve from, as you can see from the vagus nerve from the vagus nerve we have this nerve which forms like a loop surrounding the aortic arch and moves again cranially cranially for the uh, innervation of the laryng laryngeal uh, muscles and this branch called the recurrent laryngeal nerve recurrent laryngeal nerve okay so the left uh, recurrent laryngeal uh, nerve uh, makes a loop surrounding the uh, the aortic arch while the right one um, you know makes a loop surrounding the right subclavian artery so let's move backward with the vagus nerve so this is the vagus nerve the vagus nerve at this level gives two branches the dorsal vagal branch and the ventral vagal branch uh, the dorsal vagal branch of the left vagus meets with that one of the other side to form dorsally the dorsal vagal trunk so i will show you better from the other side so we there we can see the other yeah i hope it's clear here now we can see how the dorsal vagal branch of the left vagus nerve meets with the uh, with that one of the right side and moves dorsal to the cervicus as a dorsal vagal trunk the same will happen to the ventral vagal branch. It meets also the ventral branch from the other side, from the other uh, vagus nerve, uh, to form the ventral vagal trunk. Both ventral and dorsal vagal trunks move with, uh, with the cervicus here through the diaphragm, and there they give a lot of branches, of course, for... Uh, most of the um, organs found inside the abdominal cavity so this was the vagus nerve one more time vagus nerve moves inside the neck area as a 
vago sympathetic trunk uh, after entering the thoracic inlet it gives the vagus nerve and the sympathetic trunk the vagus nerves gives at this level here the recurrent laryngeal nerve and moves backward gives here at this level uh, the dorsal vagal branch and the ventral vagal branch which meets the other branches from the other vagus on the right side and go through the um, hiatus of the cervicus to the abdominal cavity for the innervation of the abdominal organs. Here, in this area, we can see the sympathetic trunk. The sympathetic trunk, in this case, um, meet with this structure called the cervicothoracic ganglion. So the cervicothoracic ganglion of course, here we have the middle cervical ganglia, and here we have the caudal uh, uh, cervical ganglion plus the first two thoracic ganglion. They meet all together here to form this big ganglion called the cervical thoracic ganglion, or in another word called uh, ganglion stellatum. Ganglion stellatum it looks like a star, as you can see here. From the ganglion stellatum, we have a big nerve here, this one here, which moves toward the transverse foramen of the, you know, uh, cervical vertebrae next to the vertebral artery. So I will hold the vertebral artery here, and this is the vertebral nerve. The vertebral nerve moves inside the uh, transverse canal and gives a lot of sympathetic innervation or branches which moves with the spine and their cervical, cervical spine and nerves to the target organs. Again, so sympathetic trunk, uh, we have the stellatum ganglion or another word called the cervical thoracic ganglion. We have here the vertebral nerve and if you follow this from the ganglion backward, you will find here the sympathetic trunk sympathetic trunk which will move backward backward here ventral to the um, you know vertebra here I would like to uh, tell you uh, what I explained before that the vertebral uh, artery and the vertebral let me just move this one. So the vertebral artery, the vertebral nerve, they move together inside what's called the transverse canal. If you remember, we say that just in the cervical vertebra, we have laterally, we have laterally here what's called the transverse foramens. Transverse foramens. All of them together, they form what's called the transverse canal, why I put this catheter inside, you know, just to show you what I mean. Okay, so I can remove it also, yeah? So inside this canal, inside this canal, the transverse canal, you will find three structures, actually. One artery, one vein, and one nerve. They have the same name, the vertebral artery, vertebral nerve, and vertebral vein. Let's go back again. This is the vertebral artery and here we can see from the ganglion stellatum we have the vertebral uh, nerve 